channel. Today I would like to show you how to measure a ripple on power supply, computer power supply, using USB oscilloscope. So let's start it then. I'm using Stringray dual channel USB oscilloscope, exact model is DS1M12. You can plug up to two probes, we have two channels and make two measurements at the one time. We have external output also and USB connector to plug it in into your computer. So you need the USB cable which you have to plug in into oscilloscope and then second end to your computer. Also you need to buy separately probes. I got one probe here with me is HP 3060. You need this stuff to make your measurements. And all this you can buy on the USB instruments website. The link will be included in the description of this video. So now let me connect everything and I will show you what software you have to use to make your measurement. The program calls EasyScope 2. You can find a link to downloading this program in the description of this video. And you need to change a couple of things. First, this trigger needs to go to AC. A second trigger, you can leave it on auto, especially when you're measuring, you know, two, uh, when using two probes at the one time. But when using the one probe at the one time, as I'm using now, on the first channel, you can choose channel A. Yes, or if you are using channel B, second channel, use channel B and you have reading over there, you see? So I will leave it on auto, doesn't matter. And we, we have two knobs, first volts and the best settings for ripple, to measuring ripple, is to put this knob on 0.01 or 0.02. I'm using 0.02 because this is the best settings for me. And second knob is the time base. And you need to find out what the best settings are for you. For me it's 2 milliseconds, so the, the, I will show the readings soon, so you'll see the readings are very clear. If you will choose different time base, then the readings may be not very clear to read. Uh, so that's everything you need to know for now. So I will plug my probe into my power supply to the 12 volts, volts rail. And you can see this is my ripple, right? So each of these squares are 20 millivolts because I've set up 0.02 volt. So each square is 20 millivolts. And now if you'd like to read the figures, you can click on meter A if you are using the channel A of course. If you are using channel B or second channel, click on meter B. So meter A and here from this menu you need to choose peak to peak voltage. And that will be your ripple in millivolts. So this is your ripple. So it's quite easy. And now I will show you the time base. If I will change to one millisecond, the whole reading is changing. Now it looks like that. Now like that. So the best settings for me, I would say, is 2 milliseconds and then you can get clear reading. So I think that's very simple and I, I, I hope you know this video was very helpful. Remember that you need to load your power supply using external source and not the PC components. That's a very important thing because when using the uh, PC components to load up uh, loaded uh, your power supply, then reading won't be accurate. So that's everything from me today. Thank you very much and see you next time.